Tell me if you've ever had this dilemma. You have an odd shaped window in your house and it would cost you a lot of money to try and cover it with blinds or curtains or anything like that. Well, try this idea. Check this out. This is a window in my bathroom. It's long and narrow and I really didn't want to put anything over it because I liked the light. So you know what I did? I created this faux stained glass effect. Yeah, it's faux. It's not real. I love it. Now here's the way I did it. I use this product, it's called Gallery Glass. Now I have been using Gallery Glass for years, okay? And I'm telling you years. I mean, this product's come a long way. And basically this is how it works. It has what they call letting in a bottle. And there's a couple different ways you can use the letting. You can follow a pattern or you can just freehand. And then you fill in the letting with some of their colors and they have a whole variety of colors. So you won't be shy of colors. So let me just give you an idea of how it works. I'm going to just use this piece of scrapbooking paper as my pattern. And you need to um, pick up some of these letting sheets and it's basically an acetate type sheet and one side of it's smooth and that's the side you're going to work on. So you can see that I followed this flower pattern, one of them anyway, I think this one. Well, you get the idea. Yeah, I did. Right there. Or close to it. So anyway, you just follow the pattern with the letting. So let me just show you, demonstrate over here. And it, you just write with it just like this. It's almost like decorating a cake. Now it comes in a couple of different colors, but you can also um, put a like a stain over the top of it if you like. If you want to get like a gold color or a pewter color or something like that, they have these different rubs that you can put over it. Now once that dries, that's when you can fill it in with the paint color. And this one is dry right over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in with the paint. And it's again just like decorating a cake and you just squeeze a little bit out and move it around till it hits the edges. And if you want to you can also do more than you know you can create more than one color so you could put in a little pink and a little blue for the center or whatever you like. Now what you don't want are bubbles. If you get bubbles you turn your bottle right side up, squeeze the air out and then suck the bubbles back in just like that. Or if you have a toothpick nearby, you can also pop the bubbles. So you don't want bubbles because they will show up. When it flattens out and dries, you will see them. So here's what it looks like when it's all dry. And the cool thing about this is that it just peels off and then you could adhere it to almost any surface. Now you might be wondering, how did I do that glass window upright? Well, you know what I did? I measured it and I bought a thin inexpensive piece of glass and had it cut to measure and then I put my pattern underneath it and I did the letting on top of it, let it dry and then used some clear caulking to adhere it to the window. And then I trimmed it with some decorative trim around the edges so that you wouldn't tell. Ha! Huh, pretty smart, huh? Okay, so once you peel these off then you can stick them to almost any surface, plastic, glass, whatever, just like this. Look at how cute this is. Made these for the summertime. And the cool thing about it is, is that when you're done with your design, you can just peel them off. Now, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to put them in the dishwasher or anything like that because they will not last. Heat is not good for something like this, but you can really have a lot of fun. You can create so many different designs you can actually get quite carried away. And for me, like I said, I've been doing gallery glass for years. So you want to know more? All you have to do is want to go to the website, download a supplies list, a few tips, and you will be on your way to some decorative windows or glasses or plates or the car. Oh my goodness, the car windows? The possibilities are endless. You could also put them on your kid's bicycle.